I bought myself a uh, Range Rover and I actually got it used. Smart investment, used Range Rover, 70K. What's up GQ, I'm Kareem Jackson and this is how I spend and save my first million dollars. Uh, from Macon, Georgia, a little small town. I grew up with both parents, older sister. Where I'm from, it's just all about family. Every Sunday, we all gather at my grandma's house for, for dinner at the church. One summer, I had a job. After my 11th grade year, I'm a sneaker guy, so I've always been into sneakers, so I got a job working in Foot Locker. I really just wanted to work there for the discounts. The Jordan releases, I would just hide them in the back and stuff until it was time for that 50% off. It was strictly sneakers for me. I shopped quite a bit. I was fortunate enough to have two parents that did whatever they had to do to, to, to provide for me and my sister. So, you know, if things came out, they made sure I didn't go without them if I wanted them. I went to the University of Alabama where I played football. Uh, my junior year, we had a great season and playing in the national championship and stuff. So we knew then that we was gonna have a couple guys get drafted. I just wanted to get to a point where you didn't, don't have to window shop. You could just go in the stores and, and pretty much get what you want. After my combine, I, I pretty much knew I was a, a lock for, for to be a first round pick. And after that, you know, um, just pretty much just sitting back and just waiting to see what was gonna happen as far as the, uh, the draft. I was excited, I mean, for me, uh, it was everything I dreamed of. Can't beat it. <laughs> you can't beat it, man. My rookie deal, I think it was five years, about 10 million. It, it felt great. You go from being in college and, you know, it being a struggle and, and pretty much window shopping to, you know, you getting drafted first round and now you all of a sudden have, have millions of dollars that, you know, you can pretty much do any and everything that you, you've always wanted to do. It, it was a great feeling. At that age, uh, coming into that much money, you want to save as much as possible because, you know, you never know what's going to happen, you know, after year one, year two or year three. So that second deal, you know, um, it, it pretty much, you know, sets you up. All right, we talked about how I save my money. Now let's talk about how I spend my money. My first payday, I purchased a Rolex. The regular gold presidential. I definitely wanted to get a nice timepiece for myself, uh, something that was gonna be timeless. 30K. Rolex, 30K. After the Rolex, I did quite a bit of shopping, sneakers, jeans, what? I mean, pretty much changing my entire wardrobe. To upgrade my wardrobe, at least 20. Who's the best dress player you got played? Can I nominate myself? I'll say um, in Houston, Andre Johnson and uh, Jonathan Joseph. When it came to you know the fashion, those two guys uh, definitely you know, definitely came with it. The worst, man, my man, uh, Antonio Smith, he was just into uh, a lot of a lot of the uh, Western things. So he would come with the cowboy hats, the cowboy boots. That was just his style though. He's from Oklahoma. That's just what he did. But you know, when it wasn't, you know, what I was into, but I, like I said, everybody had their own style. Upgraded my closet, 20K. <laughs> I actually got a couple little pieces made for me and my family. Just some small, like, iced out, like, uh, Alabama jerseys that uh, the same jeweler did for me and my, uh, my parents. 30K for chains for myself and my family. My birthday's in April, the draft's in, in early April, so I threw myself a uh, draft slash birthday party. The party was in my hometown. I rented out this uh, club. I ended up getting an artist to come like, perform. And then think about it, I, I had a good relationship with the, uh, the owner and I got the family and friends discount, maybe about 20K. <sighs> Birthday and draft party, 20K.
I bought myself a uh, Range Rover and I bought my mom a Range Rover as well. I actually got it used, maybe about 70K. Smart investment, used Range Rover, 70K. Range Rover for my mom, I, I got hers brand new. Um, so hers was about 120. It was a surprise, she had no clue. Range Rover for my mom, 120K. I've heard the horror stories of, uh, of rookie dinners. One of my best boys had just got drafted a year before me. He told me at his rookie dinner, the entire team was there. Everybody was ordering steaks to go. They was taking bottles to go, just all kind of stuff. And so for me, I'm like, oh my God. Once it came around, you know, uh, the rookie dinner, to just to know that it was just gonna be the DBs, that was a relief uh, in itself. So um, I got off easy. I'll say a light 9,000 compared to some of the other stories that, I, uh, that I've heard. Rookie dinner for the DBs, 9K. My rookie year, I took, uh, I took all my boys to the Dominican Republic for about four days. Uh, I think it was about five of us. I stayed at a nice resort. You know, had some great food, got out and, you know, had some fun. To get out in the DR and uh, be amongst the locals and, and things like that, for them to embrace us, you know, it was a lot of fun. Trip to the DR with my boys, 20K. Maybe like the last five or six years when I really just started to um, go crazy with the, uh, the tattoos. My third or fourth year maybe, I started to do uh, tattoo parties. Pretty much around March Madness, because we would watch the basketball games all day. I would fly tattoo artists in, and just some of the guys off the team would just come in and out, and we would just get tattooed all day and just watch basketball all day. Tattoos over the course of my career, 30K. Bought a home in uh, in Houston, so this is my first home I ever purchased. Uh, when I got drafted, went one weekend before we actually had the report. Saw about maybe 10 houses in a day, and finally I got to this one house and just kind of fell in love with it. And actually, it's the, the house that I, I'm still in today. I felt like it was, you know, it was me. So um, I, I had a chance to purchase it. And, and like I say, in, in Houston, you get a lot of bang for your buck there. So it was a, uh, it was foreclosure as well. So I, I got lucky in that aspect. It was 600K. First house in Houston, 600K. I'm just now getting to the point where I'm, I'm, a, I'm looking to find a lot and possibly build my retirement home in, in Houston. I love it there. Uh, the weather uh, is a great opportunity. Obviously, I built a lot of relationships there. My kids are there, so just looking forward to um, just being back there and um, you know continue to live and um, become a Houstonian. And you can't beat it there. The nightlife, you know, uh, great restaurants. Uh, like I said, a lot of opportunity. You know, um, pretty much a one-stop shop right there in Houston. Whatever you need, whatever you want, even if you don't want it, it's there. And, and honestly, because I, I got such a great deal on my place, I had a chance to um, kind of go through it and, and, and gut it and doing some different things in the man cave. Getting a chance to, to do that and obviously the audio equipment and all that stuff, um, that'll put me well over a million, but uh, that, that had to be done. Interior decorating, 250K. I have my own charity, it's the uh, Kareem Jackson Foundation and it benefits uh, women with breast cancer and kids with pediatric cancer. Uh, growing up, my mom was a uh, two-time breast cancer survivor and my sister is a leukemia survivor. So uh, I know firsthand the effect it takes on you know, uh, the families. For me as a kid growing up, I spent a lot of time in the hospital with my sister, you know, going to school from the hospital, um, getting out of school, going back there, going to practice. Uh, football practice, basketball practice, and things like that. For me, you know, I told myself, well, once I get in a position where I can affect some families that's, you know, being affected by, you know, these terrible diseases, I'm definitely, definitely going to jump at that opportunity. And um, I uh, created the Kareem Jackson Foundation. 
like I said, some things obviously had to be done in the house and, you know, getting a car like that. But I think I had enough fun um, spending time with friends, getting a chance to do some things I've always wanted to do, a uh, chance to, to shop, you know, as much as I wanted to, um, purchasing jewelry and obviously, you know, doing something for my mom. For me, I definitely feel, feel good about, you know, the way I spent my first million. I would suggest that, you know, you get a financial advisor, obviously. Um, I feel like you need to come up with a game plan that best fits you and just try to stick to it as much as possible. That's it, you guys. I appreciate you watching and taking the time. Catch you on the football field on Sundays.